Now, Pixel Experience is one of the highest rated, regarded, known custom ROMs across multiple devices. And there have been so many situations wherein we have recommended, installed, tried, tested every now and then. That is the reason it is very important to have a look at the monthly update that comes out for this particular ROM. In this case, it is for the Poco X3 Pro. Now, recently we made a video about Android 14 with MII 14 for this device, but it's time to go back to custom ROMs. And in today's video, we're going to install the latest Pixel Experience Plus which comes with the August security patch and we will explore quickly if there are any new features or not and maybe a couple of days later I will have a complete review ready for you. Hello everyone my name is Kailash you're watching Phone Ops we make amazing tech content like this every single day so if you like what you see please subscribe share it with everyone and support us. Now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to Phone Ops let's get going. The first things first, as always, let's see what the developers have to say. As you can see over here, this is Pixel Experience ROM Official T OSS YU Bhima. It is based on Android 13, of course, and updated recently on the 14th of August 2023. Now, as you can see, I have a download link, a support link, but there is a changelog mentioned as well. Now, it of course comes with the August security patch, Pixel Launcher ASI Drain Fixes. That means if you were on the previous you know, version of this ROM and you had any battery drain issues because of the launcher that seems to be unfixed apart from that se linux status is enforcing as always and the safety net is passing by default you should have no problems with security banking netflix any of those on these regular roms because they are fixed and they work just fine apart from that it comes with google apps and there are two versions that is pixel experience and pixel experience plus there are no major differences between the two some basic stuff is what has changed okay just like that the device is booted now we'll quickly skip through the setup part and then we will see how the ROM looks. Okay, just like that, we are on the home screen now and as you can see, these icons are jumping up and down, asking us to swipe up. And one of the first beautiful things about a custom ROM is you just get four rows of apps. That means you get 16 applications. We have a different camera app that is, you know, included in this ROM now. I am worried why a lot of developers have switched to this particular app instead of the Leica camera application but it does allow you to use all the lenses and it does have quite a few features so that in my opinion is a good thing we will cover that in detail in the complete review if you swipe from the top to bottom you will notice that this boots with I think the dark theme over here yes it boots with the dark theme so the first thing that we will do is we will disable the dark theme we will disable automatic brightness and let's increase the brightness a little bit here so that you all can see clearly what exactly is going on now let's go to the main menu of settings and let's go to about phone under about phone you can see that this is based on android 13 with the august security patch and the kernel in question over here is the bagol vo kernel some weird names out there for different kernels but that's what is included apart from this even though this is the first boot the device always feels you know very very snappy on a custom rom to the left you will have google feed if you long press over here you will have you know the home settings for this particular pixel launcher along with this not many applications are included over here but if you actually go to the google play store and you go to settings you will see that the device is certified which means you can use banking applications along with you know media consumption apps like prime video and netflix but apart from this let's actually you know have a look at the quick tiles over here you do have a built-in screen recorder which allows you to record internal and external audio together which is a good thing in my opinion and along with this if you go to settings you will have a very very standard android 13 affair going on but with some hint of customizations for example if you go to battery over here you will notice that you do have these optimization profiles and if you go to the apps section you will see that you don't have the game dashboard that is included so the game dashboard is something that is always missing on pixel experience i get it that this rom is not focused towards gamers but a game dashboard which is default an android uh, you know operating system should be included in custom roms as well now moving on let's actually go to system over here in system you do have a bunch of gestures that are available and as you can see things like swipe to screenshot quick torch all the other features are available including extended screenshot and they are working absolutely fine 
now of course this is the initial impressions of this latest update and for me it looks very very smooth very very fluid no problem whatsoever no bloatware and it looks on point so it will be very interesting to pop in a sim card use it for a couple of days and give you guys a complete review now let's talk about the install guide over here of course standard stuff here you need to make sure that all of your data is backed up you need to make sure that you have more than 50 percent battery a basic requirement is you need to have twrp for which you will of course need a unlock bootloader now talking about the files over here there are just two files that are needed you need to have the wrong file and you also need to have the latest firmware for your region in my case i'm using 14.0.1 indian firmware and the wrong file itself now because this rom comes with gapps we don't need to go ahead and download or flash gapps separately of course it goes without saying if there are any mods or magisk or anything that you want to you know flash apart from this that's going to be done separately altogether now the first thing to do of course is copy the files to your phone's internal memory and once you've done that you just need to press and hold volume up and power that will take you to TWRP recovery. Now, the moment you see the MI logo, you can let go of the buttons and you will see that TWRP is booting up. Now, the first boot of TWRP for this device and most of the other phones as well takes about five to 10 seconds. So till then the buttons will not work. So you've got to be patient. Now, if you can see over here, it has already started working. So go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik data cache. Don't wipe internal storage because that's where our files are. And I usually refrain from wiping metadata okay so let's go ahead and swipe everything has been wiped so all the data is now gone that is the reason it's very important for you to go ahead and perform a backup now once you go to the main screen you need to go to install you first need to select the firmware then you can select add more zips and select pixel experience plus both the files are queued to flash one by one and swipe to confirm flash now this flash usually takes anywhere between three to five minutes not longer than that so please be patient while the flash is happening also keep an eye on the setup screen to make sure that you know you don't have any errors that you run into of course it goes without saying always use the latest available twrp for your relevant phone all right now as you can see over here everything has been flashed and we don't have any errors which is a good sign now in this case you need to go to wipe format data and type in yes this will make sure we don't have any errors while the first boot is being done and as you can see everything looks great now let's click on reboot system and the first boot will take anywhere between 30 to 45 seconds it usually is very very quick because these custom roms are very light and i'm excited to see what pixel experience has to offer because remember this device that we have now for which a video should be coming tomorrow or day after this is the poco f4 that we were talking about this is on pixel experience plus i'm using that since the last two to three days and a complete review on this is coming as well Along with this, let me also tell you that we have the beautiful Mi 11X on Android 14 Beta 5 port and I've no noticed quite a lot of uh, you know, new features. What you saw right now was notification flash, which is a part of Android 14 Beta 5. So wait for that video as well. Now give this video a like and drop a comment if you want to see a complete review of Pixel Experience's latest update for the Poco X3 Pro. Also let me know in the comment section what custom ROM do you want to see for this device. That was it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.